Oh, well, this is great. I'm about halfway through this line at this point. And we've come up to one of the stops here, and literally no one is going from this stop in the Shobagrons up to Seagwalden. Like, we, we've just let everybody off the bus here, and there's no one left. So, uh, great. All right, we're looking monetarily speaking. 8,000 euro, that's all right. That's just a little, uh, little concerning that literally no one is taking the bus from there to Siegwalden. I guess there are technically already bus lines that go up there. Man, I'm actually kind of excited about the idea of making all my bus lines a lot neater. I kind of really like the idea of having them all go from main station as well. No, well, not all of them. I, I, I like the idea of maybe having, you know, some bus lines that circle around certain areas. So you can circle around and at one or two of the stops, you'll be able to get on a line that'll take you to main station where you can transfer to another line to take you elsewhere. Kind of like what I do in City Skylines with metros and stuff like that. They loop around each district, but there's also individual lines that'll take you out to key points of the city. So, like, there'd be a line that goes main station to agricultural and industrial. There'd be a line that goes main station to business park. Maybe a line that goes to Oakville from the main station via Siegwalden. Stuff like that, basically. I think that would be kind of neat. I don't know how profitable it would be, but it would mean that there's technically not, like, three different lines that can take you to Siegwalden or Oak Street or whatever. That, that might be an idea. I just, I don't know what way this game simulates passengers, I guess. I, I don't know what way it, it generates them. I don't know what way it, like, works in that regard. So it's, it's tricky. It's, it's really tricky to plan it out. I'm gonna have to look into that. I think I'm gonna have to do some experimenting to find out. Because, I mean, we're pulling up here and there's what? Is that two people? Three people? That's two people, and I don't even know if they're going to be getting on my bus. Oh, it's three people. Alright. Speaking of my bus... It's a Sitaro over there, I think. Alright, away we go. But yeah, I think it might be... It might be worth doing some experimenting with the simulation in this to figure out how it works exactly. I'd kind of like to do that. I'd kind of like to figure it out and see what happens with it. But I don't, I don't know how I can do that without literally ripping everything I built apart and just going to town that way. Oh, please tell me that you guys are all getting on my bus. I think you are. No, no, you're getting off. All right. You literally got a bus around the corner, mate. But okay, I'm not going to judge. You're giving me money, hopefully. Speaking of money, ticket, please. Tickets, please. Tickets, please, sir. Thank you. And you, sir. And you, madam. Thank you, everyone has a ticket. Fantastic. The, that seat looks uncomfortably low. Whatever, I'm, I'm not gonna judge. I'm not gonna judge. Not my place to judge or complain about the bus. Let's just get going. Heading up to Oakville Central, then I think the last stop is uh, just around the corner from it. We're not actually going over to see, uh, the old sawmill. But I don't know, I, I, I kind of like the idea of having those lines that go you know, out like spokes from the main station. I think that'd be kind of cool. I just worry because I don't know. Oh, almost missed me. Stop. I wasn't paying attention. Get on the bus. I just worry because again, like I said, I don't know. I don't know how the game works in terms of its uh, passenger simulation. So I'm going to have to work that out and then go from there. All right, let's get out of here. Let's take a left on Oak Street. Let's try and not hit traffic. Excuse me, there's another one of my buses. That's a good old Setra right there. I'm actually kind of excited about the idea of passing the urban way off to someone else. I've been driving this thing uh, exclusively for pretty much all of my, la my uh, recent runs. So, it's going to be interesting. Not a parking spot there, mate. You get your Volvo out of here. There we go. All right, madam, you have a good day. Anyone leaving crap on my bus? Nope. All right. All right. How are we looking? We hit a speed bump. That's fine. 
21,000 euro. We got 104,000 total in that one run. That's amazing is what that is. Uh, let's see here. We've now done two of the objectives. All right. It is time. It is time. We're doing this. I mean, I realize we actually have enough money to get this when I level up. And it is a coach. Oh. Oh, don't do this to me. It's a proper big coach, man. I love it. Like, it's a good looking... It's a, it's a proper coach. But... I want this. Hey, we're going back to the Sitara. We're doing it. There we go. Now let's give it a little customize. We want the main color to be orange. We want the secondary color to be that kind of brown. Unless we want it to be anything else, which I don't think we do. Uh, so that gives it the right color. And then the skin. What is that? It's It's got hearts on it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Uh, we'll go with that which extends onto the back in a very interesting way, actually. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'll allow it. That is, uh, that's gonna be kind of neat. We'll get the alternative interior so it looks ugly on the inside. We'll apply it. And this is gonna be my new vehicle. So what we need to do is hire a new employee, and I'm just gonna hire a an ace. I'm gonna hire an ace. So you're hired, Daryl. And uh, you are going to be driving this line right here, Daryl. So let's get you on that. Let's give you the urban way. And all I need to do is drive this final line from Carpenter's Gate Main Station to East Spoke. So let's do it. And of course, we are taking the Sitaro G. And I'm not going to bother quick starting this. Because I actually want to see, uh, I want to see how we start with the bandy bus. I actually have, I've got no idea. So let's take a look here. Uh, it is a big one. Good lord. All right. So uh, let's get the door open. There we go. Let's take a look inside. Oh, it's weird, man. That's weird. I like this though. This seems like a really cool seating, uh, seating arrangement. That's that's quite nice. Uh, we of course have the bit that bends. And, uh, I have no idea how to drive that, so this is gonna be a learning experience. Uh, let's just get the bus turned on. Which I'm not sure if it is. I think that's it not turned on. Yeah, so the bus is on. Uh, take the parking brake off. I think it's daytime, so I don't need to worry about anything else. And we can go. Alright, this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be very, very interesting. This bus, oh God, oh God. Oh no. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, that's weird. That's weird, man. Oh, I'm gonna regret this. I am gonna regret this. Can I open the door? I just wanna, yeah. Yeah, I, I am going to regret this choice. I am so going to regret this. Okie dokie, a considerable amount of time later, we finally made it to the first stop. So let's go ahead and pull in here and see how exactly this thing works. So we pull up. I'll zoom out so I can see what's going on. We'll open all of our doors. It leans, of course. And uh, there's a lot of room back there. There's a lot of room back there. Can I even see people in the back? I sort of can. Alright. So we got that all closed up and away we go. As we do. Alright, so now I want to take a right. Going up to Worker's Alley. This should actually end up being really loud music. Honestly, bud. You're really, you're really doing the loud music breaks, please! Oh, Who's listening to music? Turn that down. Alright. So we'll head out to Worker's Alley. And hopefully all... Are the cabin lights off? Probably. It's daytime, mate. It is literally the middle of the day, so, uh... Yeah, they're probably off. I might turn them on when you get off the bus. Just to spite you. Oh, there's one of the other buses. Not bad. Alright, anybody getting on here? Let's see here. Cabin lights, so... Turn those on. There you go. This boss is new. Yes, it is, madam. 
Yes, it is. This is uh, first time that Nerdlink Transportation has had some kind of bandy bus. Tickets, go. please. Tickets, please. Thank you. Oh no. Aha. Uh -huh. Tickets, please, madam. Ticket, please, sir. Thank you. Ticket, please. All right. All right. I'm really hoping that one day we can get a full bus. I'm not sure if that's actually a thing we can do. Why am I not moving? Why wasn't the bus moving? That was a bit weird. Oh, no, 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 no. Excuse me. Can you let me Are you kidding? Are you kidding me, sir? Get off the bus. Hurry up and get off the bus. I should have made you walk the back door. I should have took my time. But I'm kind like that. I wouldn't do that to a paying customer, unless that was the guy that didn't have a ticket, in which case I should have. I probably should have anyway, but we'll not go there. Are there no cabin lights? Are there no ca- THERE ARE CABIN LIGHTS! I literally just turned them on! Unless I accidentally turned them off, which is a distinct possibility. We'll see in just a second. Alright. So the brakes in this thing are awful. Let's see here. Passenger lights. My bad. Bye bye. Eh, fair play. It is kind of dark back there. Yeah, it's it's kind of dark back there. All right. Everybody on board. We are leaving. All right. If anyone missed the bus, that's not my problem. That is not my problem at all. Oh, red lights. Here we go. Thankfully, there's not that many uh, red lights up in the business park. Uh-oh. Brakes! Sorry about the braking, folks, but, you know, we would have broke this guy's car in front if we didn't. I'd rather you all be annoyed with me than, you know, me lose money because I crashed into this guy's car and had to pay for it. That's pretty much where we're at here. So, uh, just, just so everyone's on the same page. Anyway, thus far, the bandy bus has proven to be relatively easy to drive. I can sort of weave like this and you can see the back end of it in the rear view mirror there going kind of nuts. I probably shouldn't do that. But, you know. That's... <laughs> that's a thing I can do with a bandy bus that you can't do with a normal bus. And I'm realizing the only issue... Oh, of course, I hit a pothole. The only issue I'm having with this bus... Is that it costs 420,000 euro and that... Getting the coach that we unlock very soon, I would imagine, uh, is, is gonna take time. Because it's like 500,000 euro. That's, that's the only problem I have. But, it's fine. Uh oh. Don't you brake check me, Volvo. Don't you brake check me, I saw you trying. Man, I realize that with the way I drive and the way I weave around potholes, being in the back of this thing would be like being in a a theme park ride. And not a good one. Like one of those theme parks you go to and go, how is this place even allowed to be open? Although to be fair, that's the way most of my bus driving has been in this game, so... It's actually not that much of a change. If anything, it's safer. Because if I drive too recklessly, the uh, back of the bus will detach. Thus meaning that the people in the back are saved from my <laughs> reckless driving. Uh, that's what that, that's, that's, that's what that means, right? It's like an emergency, it's an emergency detach system to protect them from my uh, excited and enthusiastic driving. Speaking of which, if this guy doesn't move quickly, I'm going to have to go around him. Fortunately, I think he heard me. So we're all good. We are, we are all good. Just pull into West, spoke up here. I think I've still got buses moving around in the, uh, in the business park. So we might see one up here. There's a distinct chance we might see one of my other buses. Also, there's a distinct chance I'm going to crash into someone by doing this. But, oh, there's one of my buses right up ahead. Uh, but I'm doing this anyway because I can. And because it's quicker. Not necessarily legal. But definitely quicker. Alright. 
So we'll drop into West Spoke. Brakes, please! I'll take it. All aboard! You guys are getting on to go down the street. You know that, right? Oh, no. Who left something behind? Where is it? You have a ticket. That's not what I wanted. Uh, I don't need to see a picture of your account. Where? Someone forgot something. Give me this. Who forgot this, sir? You forgot whatever this is. That's ah, for everybody else. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. Thank you. All right. Thank you all for your tickets. Let's leave. There's another one of my buses. Not bad. I think that's another. Yeah, that is a that is a regular Sitaro. All right, let's go for this. Let's go for this. We're doing it. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. I'll take it. Uh, so let's pull in here, let everybody off, and hope that this is going to be a profitable line. And then all we need to do, all we're going to need to do, is get another driver and put them on this line, drive something else, and we are sorted. So I'm kind of looking forward to uh, to seeing how that goes. Did anyone anyone leave anything? No, they did not. All right, how are we looking? How are we looking here? So, monet ooh, not much. Not much. But we did get 108,000 total. So, profits are up there. Profits, profits are up there a little bit. We have one CNG bus, one bandy bus, nine drivers, no ads currently. I mean, we could have got, you know, an extra 10 grand there, but that's probably fine. Uh, so yeah, all we need to do is put someone on this line and then go drive something else. So, we technically have enough money for another Sitaro. But I think we also have enough money for another Setra? Yeah, we do. But do I want to go for another one of these? Or do I want to start saving up to buy like this thing when I get the opportunity to do so? Because it's tempting. It's it's really tempting to uh, save up for this. It's also 450000 not 500 It's really tempting to save up for the coach. But I feel like the best way I can do things is now you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna buy another Setra. We're gonna buy this. There we go. Uh, we're gonna customize it. Obviously, put it in our colors, like so. Give it the that's not the right livery. Give it that livery. The interior is gonna be default. We'll apply that, and we need to get ourselves a driver. So let's grab another Ace. And let's say you can go on to this line just here. And you can take out the new Setra. So there we go. If I go ahead and drive this line, which is the one we drove, it's, it's the first of the new ones. This line will generate money. Uh, we will unlock the harbor and also get an additional 90,000 euro. I'm not too interested in unlocking the harbor because it's just this area over here. and We've already got lines there. But it does tie in nicely to the idea of maybe reworking a bunch of our lines. Because we have a lot of lines coming into the industrial zone right now. So I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to drive this line again. We'll do the bandy bus this time. And then we can start reworking all of our lines possibly. That might be what we have to do. Anyway, let's let's drive this line. There's no one currently on it. Uh, we know what bus we're taking here. It is, of course, going to be the Setra G. And we're going to go for a quick start because, good lord, basically. It is, ooh, more people than usual taking the bus. I'm down for that. I'm 100% down for that. Kind of looking forward to it, if anything. Let's see if we can get a, a whole bunch of people on the bandy bus today. Oh, that is a lot of people. That is a lot of people. Hello, welcome aboard, everybody. Oh, I'm actually kind of excited about this. Oh, I think they're all getting on. 
Look at this, man. Okay. This is good. Immediately 1,500 euro. That's, uh, that's good. That is really good, man. Let's, uh, let's get her on here nice and quick. And, uh, we'll beeline it down this road because we've got Lindner Alley to get to. And I think, isn't this the first time we've driven this line without it having any kind of issue? Because last time we did it, oh, by the way, yeah, I am doing this. Uh, last time we did it, I think, uh, one of the stops was under maintenance or something. So this is nice, getting to do it properly for the first time. And, uh, my little way of sneaking up through traffic still works perfectly. Amazing. Uh, how many people do we have at this stop? It's a lot again. Good lord, man. And most of them, if not all of them, actually want on the bus as well. Alright, come one, come all. Everybody aboard, if you're getting aboard. Man, I like that the uh, I like the back end just sticking out into the road a little bit there. That's great. All right, let's close it up a little bit. There are actually quite a lot of people on the bus right now. Anyone else getting on? Nope. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's get going again. Over to Whisper Way. Okie dokie, we're coming up to Steinak Chapel, where there are a ridiculous number of people just here, apparently. Alright, who's listening to live music back there? Who's doing this? Who, who's the culprit here? How's it going, sir? Can you shut up, please? Thank you. Thank you very much for, uh, shutting up. As for all of you, if you're getting aboard, get bored. I don't have all day, and neither does the traffic behind me. That van driver looks like it could, uh, snap at any moment. What are you doing? Get off the road, madam. Alright, we're leaving. We are leaving. If we left anyone behind, that is not my problem. If you didn't get off the bus, that is also not my problem. I got out of my chair. You had plenty of time. You all had plenty of time. How much money are we looking at here? Set at 13,000. That'll do. I'd love to know how many of you don't have tickets. It's really tempting to stop and uh, have a look, but... Eh. No time for that. No time for that, we have work to do. I wanna see... I wanna see number one, how much money we get for this run and the other runs, and I wanna see just what we get at the harbor, and just what the next set of objectives are gonna be. Would you be faster by bike? Madam, we are going 74 kilometers per hour right now. If you can cycle 74 kilometers per hour, you go ahead and do that. And you enjoy yourself. All right. Everybody out. Everybody off the bus, please. Thank you. Anyone leave garbage? I thought so, madam. None of you leave garbage. Everybody out. Get off the bus. Go on. Leave. Shoo. Move. Move, madam. Thank you. Okay, how much did we get on that? We actually did nothing wrong at all, which is great. Makes a nice change. Level 15, we just got the new bus, which is great. 13,000 euro. We had one person dodge a fare. We got 122,000 euro on that, as well as the bonus. The bonus 90,000. They're going to start talking to me, aren't they? They are... Oh, here we go. They're about to start talking to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah sir. Alright. Yep. Many of the workers there are yep, locals yep. From all over town. I don't care. Sure they'll be happy to hear that they'll soon be able to I public just don't to care. To work on time in the morning. And I'm gonna be honest. In the yeah. Could convince the the madam? To Great. You bonus if you uh, let's see. So, areas to the if we can do this and get all bus stops to level three. Me, about up West if we can get all bus stops to level three. Public transport. Which, I mean, all of the new stops need to be level three. That's actually gonna be relatively easy. Uh, so we can do that at some point. We basically need to create four new lines. 
and get all of the new stops to level three. So we need Siegwald and Oakville and Port Amber, Business Park to Port Amber, Main Station, Agricultural, Industrial, then Port Amber, Agricultural, Industry, and all stops of Port Amber as well. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I mean... I feel like it'd be possible to do these two in one? No, no it wouldn't, because that's a max of 10 stops and that is minimum of 10. So this would be 11 if we did that. No, we, we can't do that, never mind. That was, I, I thought I'd seen a thing there. So yeah, basically we need to create these four lines and then generate revenue on them. At which point we'll get the western area, which I assume is going to be Westfield and probably Maryville. I Yeah, I would say probably Maryville and Westfield. And then I guess the old town is probably like the last area that we can unlock. I mean, that's fair enough. I'd say we're doing decent things, but I think we just, we desperately need to rebuild our bus network. So ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have to do that at some point. It is not going to be right now though. That is going to be it for today. Thank you kindly for watching. It's been my pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.